Hi guys, it's Andrew here from Tutorial Soup. In our last lesson I showed you how to create a 3D model in Blender and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to export that 3D model and use it in our 2D space game. Now I've realized I have to make a conscious effort to stop saying the word er uh, too much in my videos because watching back some of my videos I've noticed I do that a lot and it's really annoying it must be annoying for you to watch and listen every time every few seconds I keep saying er uh. so I apologize in advance I'll try to keep it to a minimum so what I'm going to do now is export this out it, actually what I have done since last tutorial I've lined the camera up so it's head so it's looking straight on to our model and I've actually repositioned the light source so it's so it kind of so it doesn't show too much of a shadow underneath so it's pretty much straight on so that's what we need um, you need to render as an animation uh, if you click on the camera here uh, you can also choose the file type you want from here um, it's best to use PNG you can also choose what directory, directory you want so you can choose the desktop and navigate to the specific folder I've got it in the usual HTML5 canvas games folder uh, so I'll accept that uh, you might also want to change the start we'll keep the start frame on one and put the end frame to one as well otherwise it will render out around about 250 images of the same still picture and you don't want to do that the only reason why you want to uh, kind of render out more frames is if you're doing an animation but we are actually just wanting to do a still shot uh, actually you may be thinking why am I doing render animation why don't you just render image well rendering the image doesn't seem to render out anything so I've chose to use render animation that seems to work fine so I've changed my directory Change my file type and put the end frame to one so it only renders one frame and now render animation. Now it's rendered off. If you go to the folder, you will see a picture here, and that's a PNG file. Uh, now I'm going to have to edit this, um, so I've chosen a program, you may have just quickly caught a glimpse of it as I shut my browser, it's called GIMP, you may have heard it before, you may have not, but it's a free, uh, it's a free kind of uh, image editor, much like Adobe Photoshop, it's got a lot of the same uh, tools that you may find in Adobe Photoshop, but you can use it for free, um, again you can donate if you wish, I think, somewhere on here. Um, but it's a really really cool bit of software that you can use and you don't have to buy the expense of Adobe Photoshop which is uh, quite expensive I, I actually do have it but I do like to use GIMP because GIMP uh, is pretty cool to use so so if if you go here if you go to the download section you can download whichever version you want once once you've installed it, simply click on the icon which I have on my desktop. There it is. First time you open this up, it will take absolutely the ages to open up. I've already opened it up once, so it's going to open up quite quick for me. But be prepared to wait a little while for it. Now, I'm going to open up the image so my folder. There it is. Now, if I select the image like so, and sorry if I've gone a bit too fast. Um, as you can see, it's, it looks pretty much like a normal editor. You may have seen one like this before. Um, you've got select tools here, so you can select um, a certain area of the image. This is actually quite big. I don't, I don't really want all this around here. I just want to keep, I just want to 
be as close to the image, the camera size to be as close to the image as possible. So I'm going to go to fit canvas to selection. So that will reduce the size of the canvas. So what I also need to do is select using the select tool here or magic wand you might call it I want to select the um, outer um, background and go to layer, layer transparency add alpha channel now if I go back into layer and choose the threshold alpha and put that to maximum 255 which is transparent click on OK now you see the background is transparent now if I say this now you won't have a background it will just be the ship that you see I'm also going to name, name it ship and save it uh, right okay okay I'm just going to need to press export here if you get this this just say export and then ignore this and just save now if I go to my folder you'll now see this is the original image I got I exported from blender and this is the one I have now uh, which looks pretty cool it's got no background um, no background color so it's just transparent so all I'm going to see is the actual ship itself now I'm going to open up my HTML file in notepad++ now in order to add the image I need to create a new variable and I'm going to call it simply ship I'm going to go down to the start game function and I'm going to write ship equals new image. Put another space in there. And the ship source is going to equal ship dot png so that's referencing the ship image here which is in the same directory as the html file so that's how I can just put ship I don't have to add any other directories and so in the animate function just here I'm going to write context I'm going to reference the context um, we're going to use the draw image method and I'm going to write ship which is the identifier for the new image now I'm going to position this 100 across 100 down and I'm going to make the size of it 60 pixels in width and 60 in length so 60 in width and 60 in height now if I save this and open up the file if we're lucky we now have a ship and it's got no function at the moment you can't control it um, but in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to add some um, keylessness, event listeners, sorry. Um, I'm going to show you how to uh, control the ship using user input. And eventually down the line we're going to add some enemies or things that we can kind of avoid. Maybe some asteroids and stuff. So it's been a fairly quick tutorial. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and I will see you on the next one.